Hey, I made my last channel update video about four years ago, back when I quit my job, I went full time on YouTube, I completely rebranded my channel, I cut off all of my hair, basically everything changed and I called the new business that I had TechAltar 2.0. Well, I've gone through a similar set of really big changes again in the last couple of months, so I thought now would be the perfect time for yet another TechAltar update video. So, welcome to TechAltar 3.0. Four years ago, I had a really simple business, one channel run by one guy, and that's it. But then a lot has changed since. I launched a second channel, The Friday Checkout. I launched a Nebula original series called Technorama. I launched a product review app called Crowd, and I joined Standard, the agency that gave me access to the smartest community of creators online, and together with whom we launched Nebula, which has just passed 500,000 members. An incredible success. I'm very grateful for how everything has turned out, and I'm super proud of every one of my babies, but over the last couple of months, and maybe like a year or so, I really started to feel that I've just spread myself way too thin with all of these projects. I don't really do editing anymore and I didn't code the app myself, but apart from that, I did just about everything for three, four businesses, writing scripts, researching, admin work. I designed most of the screens myself. It was just way too much. By the end, we got to the point where I had multiple months where I didn't even have a single day off, like not even a single weekend day. Every workday was 10, 12, 14 hours of work. And then I also developed insomnia. So maybe every second day I couldn't actually sleep properly anymore. It was just completely exhausting. And I also felt like I didn't have the energy, the creativity, the time to give to any of these projects individually that they required, that they deserved for them to flourish and do well. So I decided a couple of months ago that it was time for some change. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. We're shutting down Crowd, my product review app. In fact, we've stopped developing new features a couple of months ago. And uh, if you're an active user, you've probably noticed. And um, I'd like to explain a little bit. Crowd was a true passion project for me and my co-founder, Maya. We've never built an app before and truly started from scratch. I went to an intense coding bootcamp where for two full months, I learned the technical skills I needed so I could oversee the development. I taught myself user interface and user experience design from scratch. And you can see some of our early mockups here when we thought that we might give the whole app a pirate theme. We brainstormed and prototyped and user tested with all of our friends and a few kind tech out our viewers, we hired a developer and then we got to work. There were a few bumps here and there, but overall, it worked. People left well over 1 million reviews and ratings on the platform. Together with our most enthusiastic users, we built one of the most accurate tech product databases in the world with over 10,000 products across many categories. We had about 23,000 downloads with zero paid advertising. And despite a strict invite system that tested a user's tech knowledge before sign up, we launched an accurate release monitor. We had weekly quizzes and so on. I'm incredibly proud of what we have built and I'm even more grateful grateful for our community for having come and built it with us. Josie, PU, Mr. Robot, Alex, Nitron, all of you. I'm incredibly proud, but it wasn't enough. Building crowd required so much, especially time, but also money. And I sadly couldn't see a way for it to turn into a profitable business in a reasonable amount of time. Running ads would have only really become financially viable with millions of users, which would have gone against our goal of having a carefully selected review community. And the monetization options that we did plan for, like licensing our reviews to retailers, those would have taken a ton of time to build out still, and we simply ran out of energy and money. Maybe in another world where I didn't also have to run two YouTube channels and maybe I was smarter about hiring, I would have had more time to go do fundraising, or we could have done something else to figure out how we could get there eventually, but not with our current setup, I'm afraid. And so in the next couple of weeks, we'll be switching off our servers and we'll also be pulling a crowd from the Play Store as well. My co-founder Maya, who was responsible for the quizzes, among other things, has already started a new job, which is partially why they have been really spotty in the last couple of weeks, and I'm afraid we'll not be continuing them either going forward, as I don't have the capacity to pick them up myself. All of our quizzes from the past will be left up for a week or two for you to have one last round of fun with them if you want, but then those will be gone as well. 
Now, the Crowd Discord server will remain open and I'll probably just rename it to Tech Altar in the coming days. If you haven't joined yet, it's unironically one of the nicest places on the internet to be as a geek, so check it out in the description and I hope to see you there. Also, we still have a pretty incredible product database with tons of products, release dates and launch prices that we don't really know what to do with, so if you know someone who would want to buy such a database, minus the personal data of course, or some open source product project that would really need it, let me know down in the comments or tweet it at me. Okay, so that's it for the bad news and uh, believe me, it's not an easy thing to kill one of my babies, especially when I spent so much time on it, but I think it is for the better and it's only going to be good news from here. So while I loved doing crowd, it took an incredible amount of focus and time away from making content and from me becoming better at that, at my craft. And uh, I'm gonna go back on doing that and I'm gonna be doubling down on content. In fact, I've already started that in the last couple of months and this time I'm gonna be doing it in a more sustainable way. To start with, last month I released 10 videos for the first time ever. Five Friday checkouts, two Tech Alta videos, a live stream PC build, a Technorama episode, and a Nebula bonus video, which is an incredible amount for me, and it didn't come at the expense of quality either. I think the latest Technorama video is one of the most deeply researched and well animated videos that we've ever made, and I'm super proud of my videos on Russia as well. I've also finally found the energy to start experimenting and improving my craft again, which I've completely lost in the last couple of years. I've started doing product reviews again, which I've completely stopped for a lack of willpower and I can't wait to do even more. We have tried out a few completely new series and formats like Charter, which is a shorter and more dense video where we break down a single interesting graph and I have many other ideas for the future as well. I moved out of my living room into a new studio, which not only gives me a lot more space, but also access to cool people like Killian from the channels I Know Review and Orbit, both of which I've linked down in the description, as well as a few other brilliant guys all working on videos and 3D stuff, and it's all just a great source of inspiration. And to make things sustainable this time around so I don't just burn out again in three months, I actually started to hire a team who can help me with different tasks and help me scale my business. I actually have two video editors now, one who does Technorama and one who does basically everything else. Uh, my old co-founder Maya from Crouch is actually the brains behind the Technorama series. She researched and wrote most of it and um, I also have a writer for the Friday checkout and I hopefully this way can grow my content without having to do literally everything myself. So that's exciting and I basically have four goals going forward. First, I want to get back to experimenting and improving my craft again. New gear, filming in new locations, better animations, more creative storytelling, all of that stuff that has remained stagnant over the last couple of years. Second, I want to try new formats. I love the classic story behind series and Friday checkout formats that I have, but I want to try new things. Some will work, some will not, but that's fine. Third, for the topics that are really different from my usual stuff but I still want to talk about, I want to launch new Nebula original series for. Stuff like Technorama that is a bit too far out from my regular wheelhouse to work easily on YouTube, but Nebula gives me the opportunity to make those with lots of care and love as well and still make it financially worth it. And fourth, as I said, I want to hire a team. So this is not just a one-man show, but an actual business where I get to work with other clever and inspiring people. I really hope that many of you are going to enjoy what is to come with Tech Altar 3.0. I once again wanted to thank everybody who supported Crowd in any way, helped us out, left reviews or anything like that. I really, really appreciate it. And if in the future you want to support Tech Altar or any one of my content businesses, then the best way to do that will probably be by getting a subscription to Nebula. I have a whole Nebula original series with five episodes out now. I've made tons of bonus videos over there and since we've just launched Nebula Classes, our brand new online learning platform as well, I might even do a class there soon if there is interest. And the whole thing really helps us finance some of our best projects. If you've made it this far, you probably already know that the best way to subscribe to Nebula is through the Curiosity Stream Nebula bundle, which I've put a link to down in the description. I'm really sad that we had to close down one of our businesses, but I'm also looking forward to growing our content business and making better videos every day, every week. I really hope you'll enjoy the ride and I'll see you in the next video.